Good morning. I am Kathryn Sharma. Today I will be giving five oral presentations. My first speech is introducing and thanking the speaker. This speech is being delivered at the Indian Economic Summit with 500 people in attendance, aged between 30 to 45 years.
provides. The audience are the listeners tuned in. Is an after-dinner speech being delivered at an outdoor training conference 
with 40 people in attendance aged between 25 to 35 years.
My last speech is a persuasive speech on a moral issue being delivered at the youth parliament with 200 people in attendance aged between 18 to 25 years. Did you try? 
question task. Was that a starting point? So when I first came across the seven topics, I knew that the five that I chose were the ones I wanted to do. Introducing and thanking the speaker, I chose that particular one because I have always been a fan of Vivica Varukam. And when I saw the show where she came out into the open about her battles with depression and anxiety, I had a lot of respect for her because like I said in my speech as well, in India we don't really believe in mental health, we don't acknowledge it. And for a celebrity like her to come out and talk about something like this, it was a big deal and I really appreciated her for doing it and that's why I chose this topic. Then uh, for the news feature, over the last few years our Prime Minister has made it to the news on multiple occasions. But ever since the pandemic, he has been making the headlines a lot more often and him putting his picture on vaccine certificates was something that no one had ever expected and that's why I chose this. And we want to my after dinner speech. I have personally been a part of a conference like that and I know that it was a very nice experience for me and that's why I wanted to talk about it. Then moving on to the story, I uh, babysit my cousins a lot and I read stories to them, usually stories like I pop it from their books that they give me to read. And were there any external influences, either artistically or in a social context? So for this story, when we were growing up, we used to read a lot of stories from the Jataka tales or the Panchatantra collection of stories. But I realized that nowadays the children are not reading so much of Indian folk tale anymore. And that is why I chose this particular one. And then my moral issue, I chose that because we may think that in India we are really influenced by the West and that you know we are competing with the developed nations. But the ground reality of the situation is that only the people in the urban parts of the country are you know competing with the West. But the child marriage rates and the, the rates of these kind of practices are still very high in the rural parts of India and that's why I chose this to talk about. Coming back to my introducing and thanking the speaker, uh, in 2020, one of our celebrities, very famous celebrities, committed suicide. But we as Indians refuse to believe that someone who is that popular, that rich, that famous could have committed suicide. So for two whole months, we made it into a modern mystery. That is the extent to which we do not believe in mental health in India. And I think that was something that needed to be addressed. And hence, Deepika Padukone coming out into the open about something like this was a big deal and that's why I thought it should be addressed. Then, the news feature. So, socially, a lot of people are fans of the Prime Minister, especially the older generation in India. They absolutely love the Prime Minister and everything he does. But even they were shocked and surprised at the fact that our photos are not on our certificate, but his is. And for them to be upset about something like this really meant that he has overstepped his limits this time. Then, uh, how did I plan? So, I first saw the topics that I wanted to, I picked the five in the ones I wanted. And after those five, I chose the topics in which I wanted to talk about. And once I did that, I went on to thinking of the events and the number of people in the audience that I would address. How did you create balance and variety for the audience? So, all my speeches, I have tried to make them as in as varied setting as possible, starting from an, from an economic summit to an outdoor conference to a, to a story being told at a sleepover. So these are all as varied as I could think of making it. And the, because the, the events were so varied, the age group and the number of people in the audience were also very varied. And I based my speeches, the language I was using and all those other factors onto how the age group of the audience that I was addressing. Uh, did you do any research to gain a greater understanding of the writer, composer, language or genre? I had to do a lot of research for most of my speeches. For the introducing and handling speaker, I had to go into the mental health statistics in India and I also had to find out more about the Dika Padukone's Nirla Foundation and the kind of work that they are doing. And then for my new speaker, I knew that this was happening, I knew that this was a problem, but I had to find exact articles.
was exactly a group of people, real people, where they were talking about this and where they were actually affected. So that was the sort of attitude. Then um, moving on to the moral issue, I had to do research and gain a better understanding of what the previous law was and what the new law wanted to be, was supposed to be like, as well as understanding uh, the child marriage statistics in India even today and the states in which they are and how they are. Uh, what skills were needed to approach the challenge? I have given these exams before and I have a lot of experience in public speaking. So I know that the first skill that was needed was to be able to figure out what I would like to talk about and writing down my speeches, getting my points together. But also being able to give such varied speeches in the short span of time and changing my tone and using various physical and vocal techniques like tone, projection, voice modulation, all of these had to change with each speech and so did my physical techniques in terms of eye contact, body language, based on whether it was an informal setting or a formal setting, that had to change. So these were the skills that I required. Then, uh, what have you discovered by working through the challenge? I realized that I may have taken part in a lot of uh, public speaking activities before and also I, I may have given these exams before but I have never had to give such a diversified uh, give such diversified speeches in such a short span of time where I had to get in and out of different characters constantly so that was a challenge for me but while working through it I realized that because I had that experience in the past I could somehow bring myself to step in and out of it. Though it did take a lot of practice and effort, but I think I managed to do it. And how do you approach a similar challenge again? So if I have to do this again, first I would uh, make sure that my speeches and my technicals are all in place from the very beginning. Because the technicals was something that I had to work with more, which took, uh, took more effort from my side. Because I may be a 20 year old who is born in the technology era, but there were a lot of things in my technicals that I realized I really did not know much about. So I had to work on that. So if I have to do this again, I will make sure my technicals are in place first before I start learning my speeches. Because that takes more time and getting that in time and coordination was something that takes time. Also, glitches happen because it is at the end of the day it's technology and that can happen. And what personal strengths and limitations have you noticed in the process? Personal strengths, I know that because I have I had experience in the past, I know how to you know use voice modulation, change my tone and projection based on the number of people that I'm imagining I'm talking to. But the limitations also are stepping in and out of different characters in that short span of time in the time of five to five to ten seconds. And uh, also the fact that, like I said, the technicals, this was something that took more time than just, you know, learning speeches and delivering them. Since I'm imagining an audience, I need their responses, I need my, I need the way I'm talking, the audience should be reacting in the same way. And uh, then health and safety, physical and vocal health. So in November 2021, I came up with a newfound dust allergy and pollution allergy because I had spent two years sitting at home and most part of the pandemic I was I spent in the Himalayas and that was well a lot of fresh air and when I came back for college and I stepped into normal urban India the pollution levels really got to me and I had a bad throat for a good two months and to the extent that I could barely talk for five minutes straight without talking. And the doc I was in and out of various doctors trying to figure out what was happening because they all just kept thinking it was a flu or they thought it was COVID. But after two months they finally realized that it was a pollution allergy and then I was put on anti-allergens. But because of this, it really did hamper my process in preparing for this exam. And I had to put in a lot of effort to take care of my throat and to be able to deliver this 40 minute speech and talk continuously for 40 minutes because it's not something that comes naturally to people anyways and with the throat issues that I had, it was a little more difficult. And physical health also, like physical health also in terms of having the energy to be able to talk continuously and deliver 40 minutes of this speech. Sustaining focus and energy. So, like I said, we are used to talking.
talking, we're used to talking a lot, but I don't think on a normal basis. People are used to talking for 40 minutes continuously. So I had to sustain my focus. So for this, I started doing a guided meditation every day and night before sleeping. And every day in the morning as soon as I woke up in order to ensure that I was able to sustain my energy for this long. 